Today, I will turn a kid into a human calculator in one hour. We're doing three different lessons to train her, and by the end of the school day, we're going to see if she's closer to becoming a human calculator. And this is my student, Salish Matter. Hi! Are you excited for today? Yes. You guys, pay attention because I have never revealed how to become a human calculator on camera before. All right, Salish, let's see where you're at right now. I'm going to time you and see how fast you can do these math problems. Addition? I hate addition. Well, I will teach you to become better at it. Three, two, one, go. 50, 40, oh no. Dad, what's he doing? 56, right? I feel like I can make her go fast. 40. I'm like the teacher that like hovers over the students. Don't distract me, Michelle. She has a lot to learn. Michelle! Did he give me an answer? One hour is gonna be hard. I'm only in seventh grade. How am I supposed to know these off the top of my head? And time. Three minutes and ten seconds. So this one's wrong. Oh no. This one was close. What? That's not bad. That's so bad. A it's 70. like the worst grade I've ever got. It's a seventy percent. But you did it in 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Oh, We can do better. Let me show you how fast you can do this once you learn my secret. What? Wait, how? I'm done. 20 seconds? I mean, she did okay. 70% is still passing, but I think we can speed up the time a little bit. So first period, we are going to learn speed. This is an abacus. This is how I learned to do math. Yeah, you can play with it. These speeds go from one all the way to nine. There's five. Yes. So the top is five. This is six, this is seven, this is eight, this is nine. This is the rules of the abacus. These are the small friend formulas. So for number one, the small friend is four, for two is three, for three is two, and for four it's one. What? If we want to do one plus four, one. No, that's five. Five, five. Minus one. Oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't think I'm a very good teacher. So this is the ones digit right here, the stops. This is one, this is 10, 100, 1,000. What? And this is like a million. Yeah, yeah. this is a million. Okay, I okay, got it, you I got, got it. it. Okay, it's clicking. Three plus three on the abacus. Right, but how would you show your work? You have to show it? Big friend formula is also very easy. Very easy. Four plus Seven. 11. Add 10 minus 3. 4 plus 7 is 11. Yes. So then why am I adding subtraction? That's just the rules of the abacus. I think you got the hang of it. Yeah, you got Yeah, it. I think she's got the hang of it. We can take the first test for period one. Wait, there's a test? You're going to answer these flashcards in 60 seconds as fast as you can. 3, 2, 1, go. 5, 6, nice. 7, nice. 10, nice. 13, 14, 16. One more. Four. Nice. That was pretty fast. I think you're ready for period two. Okay, Michelle, I don't know how you're doing. I mean, I think you're doing pretty well, but like, I don't know if it's me or if you're just a not great teacher. Oh, well, we have 45 more minutes to keep going. For round two, you're gonna learn how to focus. I know how to focus. As a human calculator, people are gonna distract you. You are going to do jumping jacks while doing that. Well, as a human calculator, you're gonna be distracted. And for me, you can see me doing this in other videos where I look at my hand and imagine an abacus on my hand and that's what helps me concentrate. So that's why I'm gonna teach Salish today. Did you do your homework yet? What homework? This it's homework. It's our first day. Okay, this is what I learned in class. This is what I have for homework. And this is the test. You're gonna do flashcards while doing jumping jacks. Let's get it started. Now try and answer these math problems. 22, 80, 72. Now we're gonna add on some real distraction. Hudson? Alright, say! Go! Go! Oh, you, you suck! Answer the question! Oh, you suck! 40. You suck! 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. Oh, sorry. Now I feel like you can do literally anything. Yeah, but those were easier than the test problem. Seems like Salish is a really, really good student. The distraction, however, did get to her a little bit. It looks like she was struggling, but eventually she pulled through. She's probably even faster than I would have done it. I'm very proud as a teacher. These are insanely fluffy. I mean, like, make sure you guys go get these right now. Yeah, get these at zhcstory.com. We have 30 more minutes. I have one more lesson left, and I still have to give her a final test. What's the next lesson? Accuracy. What? 
accuracy? Being a human calculator, if you don't get these questions right, people will flame you in the comments. But before we do this, can I get like a snack? Sure. Recess. I'll see you in like never. Wait, wait, take a whole pass with you. Oh, perfect. Thanks. Wait, never? Teaching a kid to become a human calculator is way harder than I thought. I think she's doing great though. I really think I just need to build up her confidence and get her really comfortable with using the abacus. Every single problem you get right, I'll give you $20. <gasps> and if you get it wrong, you lose $100. Before I give you the test, I'm gonna teach you how to do multiplication on the abacus. Oh no. So for the abacus, instead of going from right to left, you're gonna go from left to right. What is eight times two? 16. 16. And then what's eight times four? 32. So you add in 32. 109, two. Yeah. Super easy. Super easy. One, eight, nine. Yeah. I think she gets the hang of it, and I'm actually very, very happy. Time for the test. What's 24 times 14? And remember, envision the abacus in your head. 4, 8, 12, 16. 3, 1, 3. Yes! $20 okay. times 18. And then if you do it on the abacus, 8 times 4 is 32. So this is the answer. You know you're telling me the answer. Nice! $40. For the next question, I'm going to give you double or nothing if you choose to use the abacus. Okay, I'll be using it. 836 times 5. This is my teaching skills put to the test. 4, 1, 8, yes. 0. Did I get it? Yes! I can't believe Slaylish learned how to use an abacus in less than an hour. She completed the math problem and she got it right. And I hope this inspired you guys to keep practicing and keep working hard. Even if you fail the first few times, eventually you're gonna get it right. Also, isn't this super, super cute? Zach and I customized this room for Slaylish and you can see it in this video right here. Now it's time for your final math test. Okay. I brought my dad and your brother along. Woo! <laughs> sure. And just to show you guys how far she's come, this is her original math test. 70% through this. We got this. Test. All you need is a 71%. Wow, why am I nervous? Please do well. This will prove that I am a good teacher. Three, two, one. Yeah. 24 times 8? 2 times 8, 16. 8 times 4? 32. 3. 2? Yes. 1, 5, 9, 2? Yes. 93 times 8? 8 times 9, 72. I have absolutely no idea what she's doing right now. 2, 4. 744! Whoa! That was a lot faster. <laughs> Dude! Yeah! 43 times 3. 4, 8, 12. 129! Yes! Oh my gosh, you're doing it so fast! 21 times 9. 18? 27. No, Hudson, no! 189? Yes! Dude, wow. 72 times 4. 4, 7, This four, is insane, she's going four, so four, fast. 28? Yes! What is that? 288. Yes! <laughs> this is record speed. Okay, 30. 345? Yes! Dude, this is exciting. I am so proud. I can't believe you understand this. 198? Yes. 51 times 9. 459? Yes! 25 times 5. 5 times 5. Oh, close. It's not 250. Okay, whatever, I gotta go. 24 times 8. 1, 9, 2, 1, 9, 2. Yes! 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 Michelle. So she got 90% right. 90%. And she beat her time. I guess I don't need this anymore. 10 okay. plus 2. Wait, that's a 50. All of these are 5, you said. Um, yes. Am I just a bad teacher?